What is going on guys? It's your boy Dr. D here from One Hive 2.0 Family. Uh, I've been on a bit of a hiatus, I apologize for that, but I am here with a war recap from the One, uh, one Hive 2.0 versus Axu something, week one NDL. Uh, NDL is the non-dip league, if you haven't heard of it, and it is awesome. Uh, I tell you what, I have been in CWL for uh, every season that we've had so far, and one of the things that's that's bothered me about CWL is the fact that it is moving heavier. And it, I mean, this is not a, um, a a knock to CWL. It's it's an awesome league, and it's a it's a great uh, opportunity for for a lot of clans. But for somebody who loves Town Hall Nine, and I love Town Hall Nine, and have has no intentions of going ten or eleven. Uh, CWL makes us kind of obsolete. Nines really don't matter that much in CWL. You're not going to win or lose a war. Uh, you could lose a war because of nines, but you're not going to win one because of them. Uh, Town Hall 10 is really what wins and loses wars in the CWL, but the non-dip league is different. Um, and you'll see that here. Uh, 2.0, we cleared all of the Town Hall 9s very easily and had some scouts. Now, unfortunately, uh, you don't win <laughs> if you don't get triples at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. But what it basically means is Town Hall 10s are hitting Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 11s are hitting Town Hall 11s, and Town Hall 9s are hitting Town Hall 9s. So if you can triple at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, fantastic. But you've got to clear at Town Hall 9, too, because a Town Hall 9 triple all of a sudden is just as important as a Town Hall 11 triple. Um, that is about all I'm going to say right now. I've got some really exciting stuff coming up, uh, and I, I'm hoping to get another video out here soon that talks a little bit about recruiting. Uh, but let's go ahead and have a look at the war statistics from the first week of NDL. Okay, so here are the war statistics, uh, One Hive 2.0 versus Axu something. You can see the percents are very close, 88.05 to 88.03, despite the fact that they had uh, two more triples than we did. Um, we had one person, uh, you can see there we had 78 attacks, one person was MIA. Uh, it was actually our fault throwing him in, we didn't realize that he was... Uh, MIA um, until we checked back into the chats and saw that he was going to be opting out. Um, anyway, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, this is one of the things that I love about the NDL. Um, I'm a Town Hall 9. I will, And as I scroll down here, you can see here are the Town Hall 9s, uh, starting right here with fast cars and actually something was not able to clear our nines sports buff had uh, a, a star left open and somewhere down here derp had a star left open uh, so we on the other hand were able to clear relevant again because you can't dip you can't drop and clean up those nines that you miss and there's a lot of nines uh, however um, even if the nines rock, the, those, those, uh, big dogs have still got to get some triples. Uh, watching what happened to this war, um, I kind of feel like Town Hall 11 triples are, are a bit, Town Hall 10 triples. You can see they got three Town Hall 11 triples on us. We got none. Um, they got one Town Hall 10 triple right here, Warble. Again, we got none. So those four triples on those big bases, uh, three elevens and a ten, um, are, are what gave them that win because we weren't able to get any. So we were plus two going into tens and elevens because they had two nines that they were going to have to leave open. And we had several scouts, something like six or seven scouts, uh, to, to at least two star tens and then expose some stuff. Uh, it didn't matter. Um, our 10s and 11s just weren't able to pull that out. Uh, this is kind of the struggle that, that I think most clans have, but it makes this type of a league so much better for those lower Town Hall 9s. Um, in the past, oh, it, it makes it better for Town Hall 11 too, in my opinion. In the past, everything has been about uh, 
getting a Town Hall 10 triple. I mean, we know that we can get two stars on, on 11s, typically. We know that we're going to clear 9s. That's never a question, even if it means that we have to, to dip a little bit um, on, on a bad 9 performance. Uh, but that Town Hall tr 10 triple, uh, so much pressure gets put on it. Um, and the, the Town Hall 11s are then hitting an easier base. Still hard, don't get me wrong, um, 11v10 triples are still hard to do, uh, but not as hard as an 11v11, and definitely not as hard as a 10v10. Um, so now it forces everyone to hit straight across or, or within their town hall level, and it, it forces a lot of skill. Um, you can see we left a, a, a town hall 10 open there. That would have given us bar and put us uh, a bit closer here, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so uh, that is my thoughts on the NDL and props to ask you something. You guys put up a, a, I mean, three Town Hall 11 triples. Very good job. I'd like to show those, but I don't show my own guys' bases. So uh, if Axie something does something, you can you can check out those triples there. I have a feeling that there's going to be an awful lot of Town Hall uh, 11 triple uh, videos that'll be that'll start coming out now though. All right, flip over here through and look at six packs. You saw that Sports Buff had a six pack already. I had a six pack. Uh, Fowler had a six pack. Um, oh, Matt. Uh, so Hyucent is both uh, Matt at uh, Town Hall 11, and then Hyucent at his Town Hall 9. Uh, Cass had a very nice attack that we're going to watch. Uh, Lee had a six pack as usual. Ammer, brand new call up from Invicta. He had a six pack. Uh, he had a six pack last war as well. Um, uh, Harris had one. PH was at a, at a concert or something. He's gone uh, at any rate. And Val had a six pack. And I'm going to tell you what the uh, six packs that we saw here. Um, were a lot of hogs. And so I'm going to walk through and we're going to look at a few different ways to do hog attacks um, from, from mass hogs to cold-blooded to queen walk uh, hogs. Um, right now, hogs are so, so overpowered. It's, it's unbelievable. Let's start with Cass. Cass has been uh, really working on this attack. I've seen him do it several times now. He's going to start with a queen walk right here. Um, and if you look... Uh, drops a wizard over there to, to make sure that he cuts off that funnel. Uh, queen starts moving uh, from 12 to 3 down here. Now, eventually, he is going to bring a kill squad with a golem and, and uh, some CC bowlers. And his, his king, um, he likes to kind of connect them up. There we go. There's two golems. Um getting this funnel set, and so he uses the queen to set the top side of the funnel. And then just a few whiz and a couple of golems to set the bottom side of this funnel. CC comes out, and it's very nice how he does this. He pushes this entire kill squad in and underneath these healers, which works great. Um, he's got 13 hogs back there, uh, still has a heal spell that he uses on his... I think he uses it on his kill squad. He does. Uh, I probably would not have used it on the kill squad. You've got the healer on the, that kill squad right now. Um, and in fact, I mean, basically that is a swag heal uh, because nothing was happening there. Maybe kept a few, um, uh, a, a few barbs alive there. That's about it. So it starts bringing in hogs. He's got three hogs left in the bag. Starts the hogs up there. Throws a couple on this troll Tesla at 6 o'clock, um, and they are just working their way around. Yeah. And there we go. Speed this up a little bit, because this is going to be tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Cass. A very cool plan. All right, we are going to move on to something with uh, a bit more hogs. I'm going to show my attack here first. Um, I don't often show my attacks, but I'll do it every once in a while. Uh, so, whoops, not on this one, though. I did have a six-pack. That's just the wrong base that I wanted to show. This one here. So when you have these bases with a queen, 
um, and the, the CC really close to each other, right on the edge where you can get them. We're going to watch uh, the, the way that I do it. We're going to watch the way that uh, Lee does it. Um, you can you can get all of this junk, basically, um, taken care of. So I, I pull out the CC just using a, a wall breaker here. Um, then I'm going to throw some wall breakers in and get that wall opened up because once I get this uh, hound done, I'm going to want to get in there with my um, with my kill squad. So I've got a very nice funnel set at this point. Just been working on this. Kind of lucked out there. That pop of that hound could have killed my my uh, queen. Um, popped her ability. Didn't lose the queen. Golem is down. King is down. And then I like to throw these three Valks in with it. That enemy queen is going to be gone in no time. And I'm, then I'm going to rip through these high HP buildings. And you can see I've got 25 hogs, plus I've got CC hogs. So we're talking 31 hogs here. Um, rather than sprinkling them around like, we've, like we're kind of used to, um, I like to send in a lot of hogs initially. And so out of 31 hogs, 21 go in right off the bat right here. Heal goes down. You know that you're going to need a heal for a couple of things. You're going to need a heal for the Tesla farm that pops, if it pops, this is a fresh hit, and the uh, Expo. If you've got wizard towers like this, you can almost be guaranteed that there's going to be a giant bomb in there. You're going to want to heal for that. Um, there it is. Uh, healed up through there. And if there's a bomb tower, you know that you're going to want to heal for that. Uh, if you have four heals, you can basically cover the entire base. You don't have a whole lot to worry about. Just make sure you have good heal placement. Uh, I lost quite a few hogs there. Then did not need to use my fourth heal or my second poison. I try to save a poison for those skellies because they just rip hogs apart. But that is it. It is uh, tree stars in the bag with a couple of swag spells. So I like to use a golem and about 30 hogs with some valks. That's the way that I've been doing this. Um, let's check out how Lee does this. Remember, same setup. We've got a CC queen right here. Notice he has no golems. He's got 40 hogs. He likes to bring just a couple of loons and use those loons when things are distracted. So, uh, baby dragon helping take care of that enemy CC there. His king is uh, doing a little bit of work yet. Enemy king is dead now. Uh, drops a second poison on the enemy queen and she winds up going down to Wizards and uh, Baby Dragon. Um, Queen is still full health. She won't be for long. She's going to lose it here. But he knows that a heal right around here, a heal right around here, assuming that there's um, something in between there, a, a, a giant bomb, um, a heal right up here, and then maybe a heal up here if there's a... Uh, some some sort of a, a Tesla farm or something will be needed. And here he goes. Look at, uh, just like I had done in my past one, a lot of hogs all at once. Remember I said he had 40 hogs, and they are all in there right now, all 40 of them. Heals over that giant bomb. He is going to heal again right there. Um... And right over that Tesla farm, he's got one heal left, a whole ton of hogs left. Going to drop that last heal right there, and that is it. It is tree stars in the bag, nothing but cleanup. Um, and, and this actually is, this base is becoming kind of a common base. I think I've seen it in the past couple of wars. Uh, I just tripled it in um, a, a war that we had in Invicta using this exact same strategy. Um, actually, no, I used a golem. Um, because I just like that tank. Uh, Lee had tons of hogs, so it worked out really, really nice. So that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Lee. So we see uh, one that has a little bit heavier kill squad with a little bit of tank. One that has a very light kill squad um, with a lot of hogs. And let's have a look at McSmash here. Again, very heavy hogs. Very, very light kill squad. Uh, no wall breakers. Oh yeah, he does. He had one wall breaker just to try and pull that CC. 
didn't actually happen. He got one Valk out, and that was it. Um, you know, while we're watching this, uh, we'll mention something. There is a new update that came out recently, and I don't know if everyone is aware of, of a, a sneaky little change that Supercell made in this update. Um, and we've been saying this for, for a long time, asking for something like this. And I think for a while there was people believing that, that this is the way that CCs worked, but when it really wasn't true. Um, but now uh, CCs come out in the order that you put them in. So whatever you put in first will be the first thing to come out. Uh, here comes McSmash. Uh, again, a whole slew of hogs, and he had 40 hogs, and you can see there he sent 36 in initially right off the bat here. Uh, does a heal right here, knowing that he's going to need it. Um, ooh, lost a bunch of hogs to that bomb tower. Uh, maybe a little bit short on that heal. Uh, I think he was trying to cover the bomb tower and that whiz tower up there. Um, anyway, oh, he hadn't sent in his CC hogs. My bad. Uh... Still has a heal left, though, and he's got a poison for those skellies, which is going to be incredibly important right here. So, um, hogs are now out of heals, but able to get rid of those skellies. Um, one hog over here, a couple of hogs over here working on this last thing. Whack! Finally gets it down, and that is it. It is going to be tree stars in the bag. Uh, only four hogs left out of 40, uh, but you know what? Three is three, and he picks it up. Very nice job, uh, McSmash. All right, what else? Um, sports. Let's watch something that... Oh, wait, this wasn't the one of sports that I wanted to show. He has a queen walk that I thought was very nice. Ammer, though, um, comes in with a, a very nice kind of... Uh, traditional um, shattered uh, goho. I like the way that he does this. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Start setting a funnel there, right? And remember the idea for the funnel is to push your troops into the middle. He's looking to get in there, get that queen, and get that um, uh, expo. So poison is down. King is really monkeying around, finally jumps in there where the queen is, pops that ability, takes out the queen, takes out the expo, uh, and now he starts bringing his hogs in uh, kind of surgically around the base. Uh, this is a nice base for this type of approach. Um, does not have a poison, but gets a heal down there. Um, last heal is going to be going down right here. Perfect placement for that heal. Covers that bomb, covers that whiz tower. Uh, everything... Uh, kind of uh, it is 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 able to soak up some heal right before that final push, and there we go. It is tree stars in the bag. Excellent job, Ammer, and congrats on your promotion to 2.0. And there we go. All right. Um, Chad. So Chad has uh, a similar approach. Um, we've got three heals. And the, the consistent theme here, right, is uh, hogs are, are back in a very big way. I mean, we did have one person um, who did the old um, stoned hobo type of attack. But there's been a, we're, we're seeing a lot of hogs in CCs, and it is working, working really well. So I think that we were... Uh, for our Town Hall 9s in, in our first week of NDL, around 70% clearance rate. Um, so anyway, uh, jump is down, two golems in, uh, Chad's got um, hogs in the CC, so he's looking at 28 hogs here. Uh, I, guess I like 30, but um, <laughs> to each his own, right? Uh, this, this works very well, gets some great tank. He's able to get the queen and get the CC pulled. Um, uses a, a, a giant over here as a tank for those hogs. Uh, same over here. The old kind of uh, surgical with, with, with giants. Uh, Queen takes out or helps take out that last one. Now, he's down to 10 hogs. He has not used a single heal yet, so he knows he's going to be able to push through. Wanted to get those skellies pulled with his queen 
or to his queen before he started uh, taking out this top part of the base. But he knows he's got two heels for up there, um, a heel for around this expo here that can cover this whiz tower as well. Um, one heel down. He's going to have to to heal across these uh, test this Tesla farm here and he does probably could have gone maybe a little bit deeper but I mean uh, it, it works about perfectly where it was does catch a giant bomb there and winds up throwing that down fortunately only catches them kind of at a one two so trips them individually Queen decides finally that she's gonna leave that empty wall that she was beaten on and head over here and help out uh, and there we go. It is tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Chad. All right. Kind of want to show Lee's other attack. It was really good. Actually, let's look at Val. Val was, <laughs> he, he did not use hogs here. I think he might have used hogs on his other attack. I don't remember. Uh, oh, no, he didn't. I think he did um, uh, a uh, CB Lalo here. Remember, if, you, if you've if you watched the videos on this channel, you've heard me say it, you've heard Wiser say it, um, if you put your queen and your air defense uh, together, you are just asking to get a, a CB Lalo, and that's exactly what's going to happen here. So uh, Queen is actually going to get this. Here comes the, the Golem. Um, jump is down. King comes in. Going to trail around here. Uh, nice job with, with uh, doing some work over here with a single minion. Um, Queen has got a poison on her right now. And here we go. Ooh, not just a, um, a, a uh, CB Lalo, but actually uh, getting that air defense with a uh, with with his bowlers. So a, a bow Lalo. I think I missed that when I initially watched this, or maybe I was thinking of his other attack. But uh, doesn't matter. Um, very very well planned attack. I mean Val is is one of our best planners. I mean, he does such a great job at planning. Uh, he's, he's one of the, he, he's, he's one of our best Town Hall 10s as well. Uh, pretty consistent in getting those Town Hall 10 triples. So, um, I mean, just kind of wrecks the space. Hound did not make it to that final AD over there. Uh, I love seeing the CC Hound. CC Hounds, uh, by the way, um, if D depending on what you're doing, if you know that there's a CC hound in there and you can get to the enemy queen um, and and possibly even the enemy king and just trigger that CC hound with your hogs, heck, let it follow your hogs. It can follow them all around the base and it, it effectively eliminates the need um, to, to kill the CC if you're going for a hog attack and you can keep it away from your queen, at least for a while. Uh, the, of course, the big threat with those are the pops, but there we go. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Val. Um, I think that is it. Actually, I wanted to show one more. I didn't see where it was. Where's sports buff? So it was either 24 or 34. Must have been 24. Yeah. So this is sports buff. He's gonna start with a queen walk. And he's he's got hogs. He's got a single valk in here. Um, one of the reasons I love this is because that one valk stays up the entire raid here. So we're gonna watch this queen walk. Um, the goal is to walk this queen down here. Pulls the CC with just an archer, a very cheap lure. Um, out comes the dragon, out comes a couple whiz, out comes the uh, witch. Uh, does not quite catch that witch in the poison. She stops right outside of it. Uh, then she does wind up walking in, and he is going to take care of that witch real quick. Uh, Notice that the witches do not do what they were doing a few weeks ago. They do not bust open and spawn uh, four, more, four more skellies when they die. So King is in, and I think that these things... That he's going to get the enemy queen here. And once he does, this is one of the nice things about these uh, hog attacks. If you can clear one side of the base the way that he has, 
you can send mass hogs straight up the other side and you've got identified pathing. You know where they're going to go here, right? They're going to go here. They're going to go here. They're just going to work their way straight up. And he's able to knock out some of these defenses, continuing to push them over to the right here. Mass hogs are coming up. He's got two heals for him. He's still got a poison here for, for uh, skellies, but I think he took care of both of the skellies, actually. Um, but look at that super easy pathing. Straight up the side here. Nothing to worry about. All of his hogs are in. Uh, oh, that's why that Valk lived the whole way. <laughs> He, um, oh, there were some, there were some skellies up top. Uh, he uses that Valk, I guess, just for cleanup. Um, there she comes in. I remember seeing her at the end of the thing and thinking, wow, that one Valk lived through this entire raid. That's crazy. Uh, there it is. Defenses are down. Um, it is nothing but cleanup now. That is tree stars in the bag. Beat up on that king. And we are done. Nice job, sports buff, and very nice six pack. So that was it. Like I said, uh, an unfortunate outcome for our first week of the NDL, but I really, really like this league. I would encourage you guys to check it out. If you're not in CWL right now and you're looking for something, there is a, um, a, a DC server for NDL, and there are clans out there that are looking for people. Uh, I'm going to try and get another video out here fairly soon. We have some... Um, really exciting news to announce within the uh, the 2.0 family. Uh, I'm going to wait until um, all of this kind of shakes out, but we've got something cool in the works. Uh, this is Dr. D from the OneHive 2.0 family saying clash on.